continuing our colour theory series, we are going to be looking at both black and white in this video. In terms of light frequencies, white is the presence of all light frequencies and black is the absence of any light. Visually, black is very strong. It has connotations of authority, of power, of professionalism. That's why if you have too much black in your branding, it can be quite visually overwhelming. In stories, the villain is usually symbolised by black and it has other connotations of mourning. Since the Middle Ages, black has often been associated with authority and seen as being very solemn. For that reason, it is the colour worn by magistrates and judges. Black is the most common colour when it comes to printing because it has the high contrast of the white paper, making it easier to read and on screens by having a white background and black writing. The Italian designer Gianni Versace said that black is the quintessence of elegance and Vanta black is the blackest substance known to man. White is the opposite of black. It's the colour of fresh snow, of chalk, of milk. And whilst black is thought of as being the colour of evil, white is the opposite and it's often seen as the colour of purity, of righteousness, of good. It's fresh and it's open and it's thought of as being very creative. Apple have consistently used white in their marketing and for a good reason. By having a mainly white background in their marketing, it shows that the company promote the creative thought which white can mean and encourage. And it's also about openness and cleanliness. According to research in Europe and the US, white is the most often associated colour with perfection. And in many Asian cultures, it is the colour of mourning. Both history and culture often have representations of black and white being directly opposed. Probably the most famous symbol of this is the yin and yang symbol. Almost all logos have a black version and a white version. And we at Passport to Success think that you need to have a version too. All brands need to have a blackout and a whiteout version. This could be for many reasons, for print, for digital, for contrast. This means that your brand can be flexible, not inconsistent. By having flexibility with your branding, it means that your logos can look their best on different backgrounds. Include a blackout and a whiteout version in your brand guidelines and make them secondary logos and give them very specific rules as to when they can be used. Therefore, your brand is nice and flexible. Famous black and white logos include Foot Locker, Puma, Adidas, Chanel and the World Wildlife Foundation. If your brand is all about seriousness, authoritativeness and gravitas, then maybe you should include black in your branding. If your brand is about pureness, cleanliness and creativeness, maybe you should have white in your branding. But we recommend having both a blackout version of your logo and a whiteout version of your logo too. That's it for this video, thank you for watching. I've been Becca from Passport to Success, the online platform built by industry experts designed to help, advise, guide and support entrepreneurs and small business owners to success. See you in the next video.